Okay, so we are back in the shop. It's actually two days later from when we shot. We shot on Friday, today is Sunday. We're getting ready to pack this gun up. This is the 7 mag we were shooting. And while we're here, I'm gonna show it to you. This is just a really nice gun. So this is 7 mag 315 neck. I, I, told, I told you about it somewhere earlier on the video while we were out shooting. But anyways, while we were out there, something took place that is actually, I have good targets here now to explain this. So when we go out to shoot, of course we hope and everybody hopes that shots number two, three, four go through the exact same hole when I say two, three, four. Usually it takes me one to get on and then I shoot a three shot group. Then I'll stop, clean the gun, shoot another three shot group. Stop, clean the gun, put one in the dirt, shoot another three shot group, like that. But they don't always go through the exact hole right away at the very beginning. And this is a very good example of something, so I figured I was gonna show this to you. So this target right here, this is shots, just like I said, two, three, four. In other words, one to get on the paper, and then two, three, four. And so you see, 0.85. I mean, not horrible, but definitely not great. By the way, it was quite windy out that day. So I didn't do anything. Um, I shot that three shot group, and I didn't even stop and clean it. So I just went straight ahead because of what I saw, I went straight ahead and I shot, shot shots five, six, and seven. So I want you to see this. So 0.85, and then just by th shooting three more, 0.76. Now, I stopped, I did clean the gun, and I put a shot in the dirt, the fouling shot in the dirt, and then I shot another three shot group. So look at this. So that's shots nine, 10, and 11. Now, I, I, you realize I do this a lot. I mean, this is what we do. And I'm willing to bet that if I, which I did, I cleaned the gun, but I stopped. And the reason I stopped is because everybody knows there's a super ammo shortage right now, and I'm not gonna shoot up people's ammo. But I'm willing to bet that if clean the gun, put another one in the dirt, I'm willing to bet that the next three shot group might be, who knows, might be .39. Stop, clean the gun, put another one in the dirt, and who knows, you might be in the twos, you don't know. But the main reason that I'm explaining this is, years ago, a lot of times, as soon as I would see that, I would immediately go to seating depth work. Because when you see a nice little triangle, it is telling you, it's, it's hinting at the fact, it's not, not for sure, but it's hinting at the fact that it wants seating depth work. And again, these are my test loads, so this is at, at max soft seat jam, in other words, as long as they can go, right? Okay, so a lot of times in the past, I would just go straight to seating depth work, and uh, it gets better, right? But as I continue to do this more and more, you just become aware of the fact that some barrels want to be shot. They want to be shot a little bit more. In other words, they don't just put those first one, two, three, four shots right in the exact same hole. Then, in other words, they're for lack of a better term, breaking in and they're getting progressively better. So a lot of times now when I see something like this, rather than immediately running over and you know, putting, a, putting, a, putting a seating die in and starting shortening them up, what I do is just what exactly what I did here. So I shoot three and then I shoot three and of course, like I said, cleaning in between and then I shoot three. In other words, I'm, I'm letting the barrel break itself in and I'm watching the groups get smaller. Now, here's the thing. When it stabilizes, okay, say, say again, say you've cleaned the gun, put one in the dirt, all right? Now you're gonna shoot three more, or you're gonna shoot five more. Really, I don't shoot five until I see that everything has settled down. But let's say that on the next one, it got smaller. Like I said, say it went to point, point three nine. Okay, I would do the same routine. Clean it, put one in the dirt, shoot another three. But as soon as I actually see that I get two or three groups in a row that are the same, like consistent. Say they're like 0 0.35, 0 0.36, 0 0.31. All right, to me, what we're saying then is whatever benefit you're gaining out of just shooting it, in other words, breaking it in, we have, it's stabilized. In other words, you're not gonna get any more than that. So then, say it's at 0.35, and I actually think the gun's capable of going to say 0.25 or 0.2 or who knows, maybe even in the high ones, then I go to seating depth work. And when I go to seating depth work, 
I only move at small amounts. Usually that first jump will only be about three thou. And then the next jumps after that, each, each sequential jump after that will only be, sometimes I'll only move two thou, sometimes I'll only move one thou. And if the gun is going to shoot, in other words, if it's really gonna shoot like down in the ones or say the low twos, you'll find it fairly quick. And if you don't find it fairly quick, then the very next thing you do after that is change bullets. Because bullets are a huge factor and it either likes the bullets or it doesn't. But again, this is a seven mag hunting gun. So if you get down to two tenths of an inch and that's the bullet you wanna shoot, this just so happens to be 180 gram Burger VLD, which I, I just love this bullet. We've had, over the years, we, it's definitely one of Burger's best bullets, let's put it that way. If you get down to whatever, when, when you're satisfied, quit. That's also another piece of wisdom. Just quit. Don't mess with it. You know, guys who endlessly mess with bullets, bullets, endlessly mess with powder, they're always fooling around with primers. It's a hunting gun. It doesn't make much difference if it shoots .25 or .15. In other words, there's a point of diminishing returns. And if it's a hunting gun, just quit because you're just burning up your barrel. Anyways, I wanted to show that. And actually, she's going to splice these into the video when we were out shooting because I have some stuff too. I want to talk about that ZCO scope. So we finally got to shoot it, and, and I have a lot of things I want to say about it, but that's going to have to be for another video. We need to get this packed up tonight, and we're going to be shipping it. So that's it for tonight. Thanks a lot.